Okay, so here we are at the Yellow Jacket number one, what some people refer to as the Coyote Hole. And when we first showed up here, Tim and Antonio were waiting. They were sitting on the side right where we're standing. And uh, they were waiting for the rest of us before they went over there. So Tim went over there once some of us started showing up and he wanted to clear out the tunnel. I don't know if you can see this, but you see all that vegetation that's been stomped down and it's been pushed down from above. And if you follow that up, there's a game trail right there. So whatever pushed that vegetation down, pushed it down from the top. So Tim goes over there with his 45 and his flashlight, just wanting to clear any critters out of there. And uh, what he saw spooked him pretty good. Tim, why don't you uh, describe to everybody? So when I went over there, I did my typical thing, you know, the flashlight in the left hand, the gun right here. And so when I stepped, when I got close within a couple feet of the entrance, um, I ended up noticing that some of the, some of the rocks from the ceiling came down. So I was kind of focusing on the rocks, like, oh boy, you know the ceiling came down in the last five years since I've been here and I happened to have the flashlight pointed at that and from the side where the flashlight wasn't working or wasn't as bright I saw what looked like a cat a mountain lion and it was doing this thing like right at the entrance kind of like going back and forth wondering what I'm gonna do and when I saw that it scared the crap out of me and all I could do is you know step I took a big jump back and yeah it scared the crap out of me it really did I took it took me probably about three to five minutes to explain to Sean and Antonio what it is that I even saw. So, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's the first time out of, a, let's say, 110 to 130 mines I've been in in 20 years. That's the first time I clear every mine before we go in it, but that's the first time I actually saw something. So, so yeah, that it scared me. That pretty much, uh, we're gonna, that pretty much killed it for us. You know, we would have liked to go in there, poke around, explore, but I think we're going to leave this one for the cat. Okay, so, you know, me and Sean were sitting here. This is one of these situations where we should have had the camera oh, rolling. Man. You know what I mean? It was like one of those crazy situations. So when we came back home, we started going through the footage. We noticed that we had a little bit of Sean talking about the story right after it happened. Actually, it was like 30 minutes after it happened, but we thought we would recap and, and you know, hear from Sean's side, hear it from my side, because we thought this would be something that you guys would really like to hear about. Yeah, I mean, it's fresh on our minds. I mean, I'm watching the video right now, and it's just, it's, it's got my heart pumping. I mean, I've gone <laughs> on so many vacations with you, so many adventures. Um, you know, I've seen you in action, but I've never seen you this scared. Dude, I was scared. Man. Dude, I, I was my scared. heart's pumping just thinking about it. So. <laughs> So we talked about, you know, we have the video, we kind of explained what had happened, but we wanted to give a little bit more detail and, and wish we would have had the camera rolling, but basically I'm sitting there, you know, I'm out of breath. Tim and Antonio have been waiting there for a little while, waiting for us to show up. Some of the guys are lagging behind, but I know they're back there, I know they're all right. So I catch up with Tim and I'm just catching my breath. I got my butt kicked from this hike. I'm taking all this in and I'm like, wow, this is awesome. Look, look, you know, look at these rails, look at the, you know, Look at the cave, and, and I'm looking yeah, at, at that it. point. I was kind of showing you guys, like, this is what a coyote hole looks yeah. like, this is what a Spanish mine looks like, you know. And it was just a good feeling. It was like we were there, we just found this really old ancient mines, and you know. So, I, you know, I figured they'd been there for a while, and there's all this trampled vegetation around this, this opening, and I didn't really think anything of it. I and didn't then, think of it either. Yeah, and yeah. then Tim goes over there to clear it. And I mean, the, the hole is literally like the size of this basket right there, just enough that you could shimmy in. And he gets about that close. I mean, you gotta get in, you know, your face well, about that. Now clearing it too, like to explain clearing real quick. Yeah. That's, that's what I call it. I don't know if everybody calls it that, but basically when you come up to these old mines, you don't know if there's anything in there. So what I've always done, I've been through, you know, 100 plus mines in my years, probably even more. And uh, so clearing it just means that before me or anybody else goes in there, I kind of poke my head around, you know, I kind of get a feel to make sure there's nothing in there. So, sorry, Sean, go ahead. And, now, this is the good part. So that well, kinda... I mean, no, you, you went up there with like all the confidence 
confidence in the world, not really thinking anything of it. And I didn't think anything of it either. And, and Tim was like that close enough that you can get your flashlight in there and really see what's going on. And all of a sudden Tim jumps back like, whoa, what the, <laughs> you know, and he's freaking out and he almost fell down the, the cliff and into the river and, and he kind of, you know, hurries back up and, and he's just sitting there like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, dude, what did you see? You know, what? And it took us a good three or four minutes for him to catch his breath and collect his thoughts. <laughs> and he's like, man, I was, I was flashing my light around in there and, and I just, I saw a body. I saw a cat <laughs> going like this. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> and in hindsight, once I looked at, you know, the opening, there was trampled vegetation, but it would only make sense if it was just a path going up to it. But there was vegetation coming down from a game trail and it just had to have been that a cat. right to the mine. And it had to yeah. have been a cat. I mean, by looking at it, I'm like, holy cow, I should have I should have caught on. I should have stopped you. Yeah. But at that point, he's like, no, we weren't walking around up there. We didn't trample any of that vegetation. <laughs> I mean, I have never seen yeah. you that freaked out before. Dude, it, it scared me. Like you said, you know, I, I did have that confidence. I've done it so many times, yeah. you know. I. I've always known that there, there could be something in the mind. I've seen little critters come out of them every once in a while. Nothing like this. <laughs> nothing like this. And, and, you know, like, so I go up to this mine, right? And I, I have the flashlight in this hand. I have the gun like this. And I, you know, I, I'm ready to shoot if I need to, you know? And But I kind of go up there. And what threw me off from safety, I guess you can say, and really clear the mind is I noticed that part of the ceiling, a boulder came down. So I'm more busy, you know. Yeah, I have the gun and the flashlight, but I'm more like, oh. You know, uh oh, this has happened, you know, since I've yeah, been Yeah, this is new. This yeah. is different. And then all of a sudden, something just caught my attention. And it was quiet, but it was enough to where I had the flashlight that, like this. And I, all I did was go like this. And I'm, kidding, I'm not, dude, scared the crap out of me. So so when I flash it like this, you know, yeah. I see this thing like panic going like this. And it was tall. It was tall and it was brown. I only had to see it for like a second or two. And I freaked out. I was so scared. And I remember there was a boulder from the mine that was yeah, down behind me. Crap. So I, I don't know if it was how it looked, but I know what I felt like. It's like it wasn't that graceful, down. guys. It wasn't that <laughs> graceful at all. <laughs> and I was, I was so scared. It took me forever. I remember, I remember Sean and Antonio were sitting around, like, what, dude? What? 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 What was it, man? What was it? Yeah. You know, I'm like, you freaked mm, me out. Mm. Mm. You know, I'm like, give me a second. I have to, I have to catch my breath. So, how close do you think you were to Dude, that thing? I, I'm okay. So, I might have been. I, I want to say my head was almost right in the entrance. You were right up to yeah, it. Yeah. So, I'm like, like if this is the opening, my head was right up to it, and it couldn't have been any more than three or four feet from me. Oh. If I would have reached out my hand, it could have either, you know, swatted at me or maybe bit it or what. You know, it was close. That's why it scared me so bad. If it was further back in the mine, you know, I would have been like, whoa, oh, oh, guys. But I mean, by the time I realized what was happening, this thing's like panicking. This cat's panicking three, four feet away. Because you got that thing in fight or flight mode yeah. at that point. Yeah, and I was too. And and my brain was working to where I, I almost, you know, I almost shot. But the way that the mine, you saw it, it was a really yeah, small yeah, opening. Yeah. I was afraid of, you know, my brain had to do the calculations real quick. If I shoot, if I miss, am I going to make it mad? Am I going to ricochet the bullet and shrapnel goes all the way? And, you know, there yeah. was all, all I could think of was, like, jump, get out of there, you know? So it, it was, it was crazy. So that was a moment we wish we would have had on camera, but we just want to take a second and break it down that that was probably the sketchiest, most heart-pounding thing I've ever seen. Yeah, that, that was definitely... Now, I, that's a good learning experience. We're going to have to keep the camera <laughs> yeah, going. And I've learned, too. I, you uh, know, it was good for me because, like I said, I've cleared so many mines. I guarantee you from this point on, I'm going to be the way I was many years ago, you know, being really careful and taking my time. I think I'm going to be back to that mode again from this point. <laughs> so we'll definitely leave that one for the cat for now. There you go.